Don't give up. I want to read Psalms 134. Glory be to God that it would encourage you somehow, some way. This is a Psalm of David when he was going through before Ambimelech who drove him away and he departed. And I know right now you may be going through some things, a situation where you may be uh, driven away from the very spot and the very thing that God has called you to. And you just feel like, oh, I'm going to just uh, throw my hands up and give up, but I want to let you know this is the time to press through, amen, this is the time that you should be pressing through this morning, I want to encourage you in the word of God through Psalms 34, don't give up, David, David, King David, hallelujah, when uh, things got tough for him, and the king was on, on his back, he pretended to be insane, just to get them off of his back, but I want to let you know today, you don't have to pretend to be insane because surely God has you. I want to let you know today that God is your deliverer. Yes, you probably have been through a battle. You have probably been through a storm, but I want you to hold on to Jesus and ride out your storm. Hallelujah, because you serve a storm riding God. Hello, God bless you. God bless you. Go ahead and share the broadcast with your friends. Amen. I appreciate the hearts. Glory be to God. No matter what you are going through, no matter what you are faced with, I want you not to give up because there is a blessing in the present. Yes, there is a blessing in the present. Hallelujah. Glory be to God for the word of the Lord say that the battle wasn't given to the swift, neither to the strong, but those that endure to the end. I I want you to hold on. I want you to endure to the end. Hallelujah. Out of all that that David went through, even when the other opposing kings came upon him and he thought that it was too much for him until he began to pretend to be insane. But in all of that, David penned this Psalms 34. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually to be in my mouth. Amen. So no matter what you're going through, my sister, my brother, I want you to just praise God. Nevertheless, amen. David said in uh, Psalms 34 verse 2, he said, and my soul shall make her boast in the Lord and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Hallelujah. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exhort his name together. I want you to come on today. Magnify the Lord with me. Blow his name up. Magnify means to enlarge, increase, make bigger. Hallelujah. Come on and blow the name of the Lord up right there in your situation. I don't care who's on your back. I don't care what's on your back. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Go ahead and just give the Lord some praise because truly he is worthy. Hallelujah. David said in all of that, he said, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. My sister, my brother, I don't know what you have fear about today. Hallelujah. But the Lord say he has not given us a spirit of fear. He's given us power, love, and a sound mind. So you got the power to triumph over the devil today. You got the power, hallelujah, to triumph over the the enemy today. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He said, I sought the Lord. He heard me and he delivered me. Beloved, can I tell you today that the Lord hear you? But first you have to do, you have to seek him. Amen. Hallelujah. When you seek him, hallelujah, he said he will deliver you out of all your fears. Hallelujah. I don't know what you have uh, before you today that may be causing fear. But once you seek the Lord, amen, hallelujah, uh, verse 5 say, and they look unto him and their faces and they were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. So God will not have you ashamed in this situation, whatever it is you're going through. My God, he said, I will not have you to be made ashamed. But I want to just really, really key in 
on verse 6. He said, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. So when David began to cry out to the Lord, even when uh, Abimelech, Abimelech was upon him and drove him away, David cried unto the Lord and the Lord heard him and the Lord delivered him out of all his fear. And so my sister, my brother, hallelujah, instead of laying down in fear, I want you to get up and I want you to begin to cry out to the Lord. Yes, yes. When you cry out to the Lord, amen, he will deliver you out of the very thing that is bringing fear upon you. Hallelujah. Our God is a deliverer. Yes, he is a very present help in the time of trouble. And see, whatever it is you may be going through that's trying to cause you distress and trying to cause you fear and make you feel like God. God is not there. That is the enemy. Amen. But what you really need to do is just get up and press your way in. Press your way in. Open up your mouth and begin to cry out to the Lord. Amen. Do like David said. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and the Lord delivered him. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I tell you this is your moment of deliverance. This is your day of deliverance, beloved. Amen. Hallelujah. God is not going to leave you where you're at. Every round go higher and higher. God is a deliverer. He is a deliverer. He wants to bring you out of that very thing that you're in right now. Just cry out to the Lord. Pray it through. Pray it through. Amen. Because the Lord God hears you. Amen. And he's going to deliver you. Glory be to God. I want to go down to verse 17. It said the righteous cried. Amen. Are you righteous before the Lord? When the righteous cry. Amen. It's something about hallelujah when a father hear his child crying. Amen. And if he's a good father, he's not going to ignore his child. Hallelujah. So the Bible says hallelujah the righteous cry and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all his trouble. My God, David God didn't leave David alone to Ambimelech, uh, amen. God didn't leave him alone to the king, amen. Yes, he went through something. Yes, you may be going through something, but my God, he's not going to leave you there. He's going to bring you through. He's going to deliver you. Come on, somebody. The Bible says again, hallelujah, in verse 17, he said, the righteous cry, and the Lord hear it, and the Lord deliver him out of all his trouble. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you for the love. Amen. Hallelujah. So whatever you're facing today, I want to let you know when you cry unto the Lord. Hallelujah. He hears you and he delivers you. He's not going to leave you in that situation. Hallelujah. All you have to do is open up your mouth unto the Lord. All you have to do is come into his presence. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. All you got to do is seek him. Hello. Hallelujah. All you got to do is seek him. Amen. Seek him where he may be found. Seek him while he may be found. Amen. So regardless of what you're going through. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is a deliverer. He's not going to have you looking crazy in front of people. Hallelujah. Where you have to let saliva come out of your mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. Act insane like you lost your mind. Amen. This is what David did at that time that worked for him but we're in the dispensation where as the word of God say let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus so we want to get the mind of Christ Jesus today and we know what the mind of Christ Jesus is the mind of Christ Jesus is victory hallelujah victory victorious amen so you can think like God think you can strategize like God hallelujah to bring you out of that situation hallelujah nothing 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 hallelujah is too hard for God hallelujah it may be difficult for you it may be difficult for me hi there how are you amen hallelujah it may be difficult for you but it's not difficult for God hallelujah regardless of what you're going through today in spite of what part of the world you may be in 
in spite of any of the variables in your life. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you today not to give up. Don't give up. Cry out to, to the Lord. Pray it through. Pray it through. Amen. Pray it through. Hallelujah. For the Lord God hears you. Hallelujah. And he wants to deliver you. And sometimes we think that we are the only one that are going through something. We think that we are the only one that is faced with difficult situations. But I want to just let you know today, beloved, you're not the only one uh, that's facing something. Just like David, hallelujah, was facing uh, what these opposing kings were doing to him. Hallelujah. Just today. Hallelujah. You may be waking up and hallelujah in the middle of a difficult situation. But again, I say to you, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Don't give up. Don't give up. Can I tell you, you are on the verge of a breakthrough. Yes, my dear, you are on the verge of a breakthrough. This is your day. This is your hour. This is your season. Psalms 34 and verse 19 say, many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. See, and see, sometimes we give up because we don't know what the words say. But once we get in the word and we, we have an insurance in the word, we have an insurance in the word, assurance. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. No matter what we're going through, you're coming out and you're coming out as pure gold. Hallelujah. Psalms 34 and 19 again say many are the affliction of the righteous. But the Lord deliver him out of them all. Yes, yes. You're going to go through some things. You're going to be faced with some things. In fact, the Apostle James says, in this world, we will have some trials and we will have some tribulations. But we got to learn how to count it all joy. We got to pray it through. Amen. Hallelujah. Going back to verse 6, David says, this poor man cried. Hallelujah. So I want to put you put, I'm going to ask you to put yourself in that space. He was talking about himself. This poor man cried. But say to yourself, this poor lady cried. This poor man cried. Amen. And the Lord heard him. And the Lord delivered him out of it all. Amen. Yes, yes. So you don't have to stay there and waddle in your pity because there is deliverance for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So, beloved, let's pray. Hallelujah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we give you thanks, praise, honor, and glory because it all belongs to you. Father God, without you, we are nothing. Hallelujah. But with you, we are everything. Father, we just bring these petitions before you. No matter what it is, you know, hallelujah, what's going on in each and every person's life. And nothing is too hard for you to do, Father. God, we thank you, Lord God, that you've given us the power to bind and loose. And so, Father, we bind the enemy today. We bind the enemy of the Lord in each and every person's life. Hallelujah. That may be viewing this broadcast. We bind your powers in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of fear. Hallelujah. And we cast you out. Hallelujah. And we loose the mind of Christ Jesus. We are free. Amen. Hallelujah. We bind the spirit of bondage and we loose the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to deliver us today. Hallelujah. From the hand of the enemy. As we pray it through, oh God, we thank you for how you're going to bring us through, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks and praise in advance. We rejoice, hallelujah, like the Apostle Paul said in Philippians 4 and 4, rejoice, and again I say rejoice, hallelujah, beloved, hallelujah, the anointing is here to break. Hallelujah, the plans of the enemy off of your life. Hallelujah, I decree and declare that you're going to walk free in the victory 
of the Lord. Hallelujah. For those of you that's coming to watch the replay, I'm going to ask you to give the heart. Say, man, hallelujah. I'm going to ask you to share it with your friends. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Share it. Hallelujah. YouTube, Instagram. Share, share, share. Hallelujah. Because somebody is going through and need to feel assured. Hallelujah. 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 To let them know that this is not the time to give up. But it's the time to pray it through. Until we meet again, God bless you.